Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video on my channel, Hair Licacy. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys are updated on hair loss and hair transplant topics. Visit my website at hairlicacy.com to purchase your micro needle devices, which is scientifically proven to stimulate hair growth. My low level is the Briquette, DHD Bucking Shampoo and Serum, hair growth vitamins, and a few other products for those who are suffering from hair loss. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on Histogen's Hair Stimulating Complex, also known as their HST001, which is their main product aimed towards treating androgenic alopecia. Now, for those who are not familiar with Histogen or their HST001 treatment, it's basically a physician administered treatment that is going to come in the form of an injectable. And it also contains key growth factors, which benefit hair growth and hair follicle stem cell proliferation. The growth factors are produced by hypoxia induced conditions where studies have actually shown to improve hair inductivity of dermal papilla cells. Now, Histogen as a company has been around for well over a decade. And I think this company is probably one of the most drama filled companies that surprisingly still has managed to operate without filing for bankruptcy. Their initial product looked very promising even a few years back when they were supposed to start phase three clinical trials in Mexico and everything looked optimistic. You know, their before and after photos were good. Their clinical trials before that were good too. And some were even hoping that it would be clinically available in 2020, but something went wrong and the company never managed to fulfill phase three of their clinical trials. A few months back, um, I actually covered a video on Histogen's HST001, where they announced their preliminary week 18 results for HST001 phase 1b slash 2a clinical trials. And in that study, HST001 was found to be safe and well tolerated with no adverse side effects after a total of 20 injections on the vertex and temporal regions, but it did not achieve statistical significance at week 18 primary endpoint assessment. This basically means that patients who were treated with HST001 grew hairs in the areas, but it didn't really make much of a noticeable difference compared to placebo. So in other words, it really didn't do shit. And fast forward to yesterday, February 16th, they announced their 26 week results from their phase 1B slash 2A clinical trials of HST001. Apparently that eight extra weeks of treatment was supposed to somewhat make a difference, but not surprisingly, uh, similar to week 18 primary endpoint results, they did not achieve a statistically significant at week 26 when compared to placebo. Once again, histogen has ultimately failed to present any noticeable uh, results despite six months of treatment. However, histogen has said that they are beginning to plan for a much larger clinical trial in men with androgenic alopecia with the goal of determining the best clinical pathway for future registration trials and that they anticipate that the trial will commence in the second half of 2021. Um, I think it's sad for histogen because at one point, you know, they really looked optimistic with incredible results, but whatever happened to them has really made them, you know, kind of go backwards. And at this point, I doubt anyone is even looking forward to any of their future treatments and clinical trials. And I think the reality of this is that, you know, most companies who are trying to find better treatments for treating androgenic alopecia are going to fail. And this is why it's always a good thing to initially set your standards low for any company. Um, this also goes for you know hair replication and uh, for any company that are undergoing clinical trials or claim to have better results. There's a reason why after two decades of FDA approved hair loss medications, minoxidil and finasteride, there really has not been anything better that has been able to go through the rigorous clinical trials and get FDA approval. And as far as histogen as a company, um, they are publicly traded ever since their merger deal in 2020 with Conatis Pharmaceuticals under the ticker symbol HSTO. And as of today, uh, when I checked 1130 Eastern Standard Time, their stock has nearly dropped 13%, not surprisingly, and have been dropping ever since. They don't have any products marketable. And even last month, they reported FDA clinical hold for their planned phase one or two clinical trials of HST003 for knee cartilage regeneration, which resulted in their stocks dropping another 18%. So there is nothing valuable in my opinion to hold on to um, for histogen short term and long term. And if you look at histogen's financial statements, you know, particularly their balance sheets, their total current asset from 2019 to the fourth quarter of 2020 have been dropping. Generally increasing assets are a sign that the company is growing, but apparently this is not the case for Histogen. Their operating and net income are also in the red. Total equity has been decreasing yearly, which means that investors really aren't investing in the company in exchange for stock uh, or as much. 
And as far as cash flow, net income has also been in the negative. So I think overall, um, the company itself does not look good. Uh, it doesn't look good for HSC001 um, and also in other areas of the research. There aren't any expansions of the Dermafiller HST002 or their joint cartilage HST003 or HST004 for spinal disc. And the only thing that they really have is their cell condition immediate skincare partnership with Allergen, where Histogen has granted exclusive rights to market their CCM technology. So unless they show some promising clinical results in any of their current research, particularly their HST001, I really wouldn't have my hopes up too high for this company because the truth is, you know, there are other companies that are way ahead uh, with better treatments upcoming and with better, um, I guess, financials. That's all I have for today's update, guys. Let me know what you think of Histogen and their HSC001 treatment. It obviously was a failure in my opinion and not the news that we wanted to hear. But at this point, we're kind of like used to them just not really delivering. Um, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated, you know, on what's going on with these uh, hair loss treatment companies. If I do get other updates, I will keep you guys posted. But it seems like there's really not much to look forward to at this point with histogen. But anyway, thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Take care.